Hey guys, welcome to Logical Humor. Today we will be discussing about the difference, uh, differences between a simple array uh, collections uh, that were available in C Sharp 1.0 and generic collections that were available in C, C Sharp 2.0. So a uh, simple array here as we can see that I have already written in comments the properties. A simple array is a type safe. It is, uh, it is that also means that it is strongly typed. That means that we explicitly specify the type when we are declaring a array, an array. So it is strongly typed. It is type uh, safe because we cannot assign uh, 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 means um, uh, object of a different type to this integer array because we have uh, specified it as an integer array so we cannot assign an int to it like say we want to assign a 3 that will immediately give a red this underlining that will be that that means it is an array and if we try to build it will get the build will be failed because we cannot uh, implicitly convert type string to int so it is a type safe so let's just put it back okay so now it is an int now the error is gone now it's able to build successfully okay another thing is that it has got very limited functionality i mean see we have uh, already entered since we specified the capacity here as uh, 3 and we have already uh, means assigned uh, three means we have already filled the array with three integers and here what is asked that it has very limited functionality that we cannot insert in between or remove without a complex code i mean suppose that we want to remove this this uh, 102 how would we do it in this array in a simple array we have to shift this uh, this uh, integer in in this position okay and then but the capacity will be the same so it is not actually practical because we'll be using two for loops to achieve that because if suppose that it had a hundred uh, the capacity was hundred then we had we had to shift about just to delete this one we had to shift 98 integers upside okay and still the uh, the capacity would be the same so one uh, integer at the last would be garbage we had to build with the gar garbage value and then we had to test it that this is the garbage value so it is not inside the officially inside this array like that and uh, that was when uh, if you were trying to remove and also if you are trying to insert in between if suppose that it was uh, within the uh, the capacity then also we couldn't insert because then inserting also we would have to shift downwards suppose that if we had to okay so guys there is a small if we had to insert at this position suppose another uh, integer say 5 then we had to shift all other integer downwards and provided we had the within the capacity because there is one downside one more downside is that it has fixed capacity so here if uh, it is a, of size uh, if it is a capacity 3 and we have already specified assigned 3 integers if we try to enter a fourth integer here so if if you see that it does not give a compile time error but when we try to run it it gives a runtime exception index out of range why because we are trying to access the fourth element and the capacity is only three because this it's it's zero index basically starts with zero so this is the fourth index so guys you can see that is the problem with array so it is not at all practical in today's times for only basic understanding it is there and then we'll come to simple collections that were uh, introduced in c sharp 1.0 so these were not type safe okay and we'll also learn that about this uh, boxing and unboxing concept that is that uh, causes a performance overhead so means it is not good for performance not type safe was that if you see that 
when we have uh, declared an array list of uh, this capacity and when we are trying to add here so if you see here this expects an object expect a value of type object so what is this object object is the base it is the base class of all classes of all structs in C sharp. So the integer it's actually a struct. Okay, integer is struct. System dot in 32 it is a struct. So it also derives from this object. That's why we are able to pass integer into this because it can expect anything because it is an object. That is the object is the uh, the base class I mean the grandfather the great grandfather the Brahma of all uh, other classes okay so we are able to but here to convert this struct this int that is a value type into an object into a variable of type object that is a reference type we are doing boxing here okay so boxing is a performance overhead that reduces the performance okay and then when here when we are trying to access this uh, array list uh, at uh, this uh, integer at uh, second position at third position of this array list if you try to do this then if you try to run then again it because it cannot you cannot implicitly convert object because it returns an object of object type and it you cannot uh, expli means implicitly convert it into int you have to explicitly provide a cast so like this int so this to convert a reference type into value type i mean a class object into a struct object you have to do unboxing as you can see so this is also uh, this was as we discussed it is a performance order if you try to now build it it will be okay and okay and the one problem here one more is that uh, one good thing is that it can grow in size okay it can grow in size we can assign we can see the we had specified the capacity as only three but here we are adding a fourth one uh, zero it is zero base so we are adding a fourth integer without any error without building or it, as you can see okay so this this was the previous error we'll comment this out okay and now we'll try to run it again So we are running it now it is it is working absolutely fine so this is absolutely fine no problem with this it can grow inside okay so the second point here that we missed was that several methods to manipulate the collection like insert and remove here we'll see that earlier we uh, obtained this uh, integer at the third position and we wrote it to the console and then we inserted this integer 999 at that third position and then we are trying to print it and again we remove the uh, integer at third position that is when we add it at uh, this third position and then we remove it let's see what was the result here earlier at second po at third position it the integer was 103 and then at second position we inserted this uh, triple nine and it it's showing this and then after we removed that uh, third uh, integer uh, triple nine it's again it's back it's back to 103 integer okay so usually it's very easy to manipulate them at any position we can insert at any position and remove at any any position so besides this uh, uh, unboxing and uh, boxing and not being not being a type safe 
it was actually uh, very good it was uh, much much better than array and one more thing that we miss one more downside of not being type C is that we can easily because since it is expecting an object type we can pass a string literal also so you see it is not giving any uh, try to it, uh, compile it it's the build is, has succeeded here but at runtime okay let's just see whether it gives okay so runtime is also successful because we are not accessing it let's just say that we were passing it at the third position this let's just say this at this position okay because then we are trying to access uh, means get it at second position so now it will you see build has succeeded but on runtime it throws an exception because it has invalid cast exception because since it is a string ultimately so even when we explicitly specify a cast then also it won't work because see, it is string it is string it is totally irrelevant there is no sense trying to cast a string into an int so this gives an exception again so let's just stop debugging and we undo it so we have got the advantages as well as disadvantages of collections C sharp 1.0 over simple arrays. Now we'll get, we'll go to the generic collection that were introduced in C sharp 2.0 that constitute best of both worlds. So best of arrays, simple arrays and, uh, and collections C sharp 1.0. So how is it? It is. So we'll check it is type safe so like simple arrays it is type safe we here we specifically specify in this that uh, uh, it is of what type it is of type int so it is strongly type so there is no uh, means a boxing and unboxing required because it will be expecting see this add method it will be expecting of type int it won't be expecting of type object so there, there will be no uh, boxing required and then when we'll uh, be trying to fetch it there is no casting also required so there is no unboxing also and also it is very type safe that means if we try to insert a string here it will not accept it will not go to runtime on compile time only it will give an error okay so let's undo this now it is successful so we have seen it is type save the benefits this type save uh, not being typed it that was the only uh, disadvantage in uh, collections with C sharp 1.0 so that is okay so and methods so insert deletion add find link you method they're all same Okay, one more uh, thing, guys, before I forget that these uh, collections of uh, C sharp 1.0 they are present in using uh, the, uh, they are present in system dot collections namespace and generic collections that belong to C that were introduced in C sharp 2.0 they uh, come into the system dot collections dot generic namespace. Okay, guys, so you see we try to we access we are able to access without any uh, explicit cast and then then again we follow the same process like we insert at the second position this five integer and then we remove it to then it will go back we'll go back to let's just see this in action see earlier at third position we're two zero three <laughs> after inserting in five integer at, uh, at integer five at third position it shows five and then after removing the third integer we again get two zero three so you see these are the and also let's just see the examples here we discuss this list type and besides that we have a dictionary also that uses this uh, key value pair 
which uh, who has got this hash table counterpart in these simple collections and then we have queue simple queue simple stack that queues of type t and stack of type t so stack is like first in and first out queue is first in no a stack is first in last out and queue is first in first out okay queue is like a atm queue that the person who gets in first takes out the his uh, cash his, his or her cash first and stack is like a, a like a heap of plates you the last plate to go on that heap uh, on that stack of plates is the first one to come out people they take it that's uh, usually the, they don't take the bottom one right the first one okay guys so i don't think i have missed anything so we never have to use these collections this array list hash tables never recommended because there will be there will be performance overhead because of boxing and unboxing and also uh, not being type safe there will be a chance of committing uh, error exceptions at runtime because on uh, uh, compile time will miss those errors but at runtime they'll these errors will result into exceptions but this generic it is best of both world so guys that's it please if you like the my videos if you want them more like this you can subscribe you can leave comments okay guys thank you have a nice day good alt stop